Man, that was crazy. I've never been in a game like that before. Um, <clears throat> we just try to stay loose uh, and, and just try to finish the game out. I kept hearing AG say, you know, stay locked in and like, you know, let's get ready to, you know, go home and bring bring this uh, win home. So, you know, it was it was, a, it was tough for us. You know, that's a long 30 minute period of, you know, not moving around, trying to, you know, get back warmed up. But, you know, we handled it well. well just before that you kind of got into it with Jalen a little bit yeah walk us through what happened um I think what what did I have the ball uh, <laughs> uh, uh if I ran them over or I don't know I think I had drove oh yeah I had drove and um I had just ran him over a little bit uh he got up it's just a basketball play just a you know um you no know, two guys you know just going at it um you know, there was nothing to it but you know I got uh, love and respect for uh, Jalen Brown for sure Strong games together here, and I know that you expect of yourself, and you've seen it from yourself before. But does it feel good? Is there any sense of relief to sort of kind of get yourself back in the right Um, yeah, of course. Um, I know like uh, this is you know busy. You know that's how you know I'm supposed to be playing, and I know I work I work so hard. You know when I'm not playing to my you know my standards, you know I definitely get mad. But you know one thing I do is I go back to the gym and I work even harder. And um, <clears throat> you know the fact that you know, I'm starting to get myself going is definitely a good feeling. There are times, I think, through this game where you got a little bit amped up at various points, especially like after one of the threes. How do you balance like feeding off of the energy of the crowd as well as just trying to keep it cool and composed when you're running this game? Um. I don't know. Uh, honestly, <laughs> I really don't know how to answer that. Um, I don't know. I just would just go out there and just just be busy. Like if that's that's my energy, I can't fake it. You know, if three's falling, like I, that's just always been me. Have high energy and you know get crowd into it and get myself going. So, you know, I, I mean, it's, I don't know really how to balance it, but <laughs> that's just me. Is there any conflict though of like being busy, but then you've got a lot on your a lot on your plate running the second unit in my lineup? Yeah. Do I beat myself? Do I overthink this? Um, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm seeing so many different coverages now, um, you know, just trying to, you know, not like, not like let them, you know, take away my aggressiveness, you know, still be aggressive and, um, but still try to, you know, get the, my teammates involved as well too, but, you know, trying to figure out what they trying to throw at me, you know, on the floor. So, you know, definitely still, you know, figuring the game out, you know, I'm, I'm a big film guy. So, you know, after this, you know, go watch film and, and, and see what I can, you know, learn from this game. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's your relationship like with him, and how has he kind of been a veteran leader that's talking to you? Yeah, he's been good for us um, as a just a vet leader and and a whole. Like he keeps everybody composed. Um, you know, when other teams go on runs, he's the first guy to speak and uh, bring everybody back on the same page. And uh, just for me, you know, he always is telling me be aggressive, go kill. Like they can't they can't guard you, they can't stop you. Just be aggressive. And uh, that's some words that you need to hear. You know, from a teammate. You know, somebody who believes in you, just want to you know see you go out there and just have fun. So every time DJ come to me, I know it's you know something positive. But uh, <clears throat> you know, sometimes he tell me you know be be a little more scrappy or da da da. You know, so that's just words that you need just to hear from you know, a vet like that. Yeah, of course. Um, because at the same time, I know it's coming from a, a good source, um, you know, and DJ. I know he's not telling me the wrong thing, and uh, <clears throat> he just want to see the best thing from the best out of me. So I definitely be appreciating those, uh, appreciating those words from DJ. Um, when you go to pick and roll, how are you making the decision to either reject the screen yeah. or use the screen and get What is that thought um, just to seeing how the you know the defender that's guarding me, and how is he, if he's a low too over aggressive, I usually you know you know uh, use that to my advantage. But um, you know sometimes when you know they switching, you know I, I like um, try to find some you know some space. But at the same time, just trying to be aggressive with, within those switches too. But um, you know that's definitely you know something that I, I've been working on as far as uh, you know teams you know switching out on me or you know trying to be over aggressive. You know just just focusing on rejects or coming off the screen and still being aggressive. Yeah.
Yeah. Um. Yeah. Of course. Uh. I know I'm not a you know a bad defender. I know I can guard, but uh. You know sometimes guys you know get, you know get the best out of me as far as you know drawing a foul on me. But sometimes I don't think it's foul. But uh. You know I've definitely been you know working on it, and uh, you know coach has been trusting me. You know I feel like that we switched the game plan today as far as you know uh me showing you know on Tatum and Brown. He said we're gonna black and you know we're gonna go from there. So that's just something that uh you know I appreciate from the coaches is trusting me, and uh you know I just want to go out there and just get my all effort. Yeah. 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 Um. Of course. Uh. You know, when Ag out there, we know we can. You know, be extra aggressive. Um. We know he's so dominant. Uh. You know, in the paint. So whether we want to play for him, we can get the ball to him, and he can be aggressive. If he get the rebound, he can push the ball. We can run. We can fill the lanes, and we can just play from there. So it's good to play with Ag in the second unit. I actually was surprised. You know, for seeing him in the second unit to play with us, but you know, it was definitely you know good seeing uh, Ag in the second unit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. This is definitely uh, one of the best seasons, or the best season I've seen, you know, from AG play by far. Um, his numbers prove it. Um, he goes out there and gives his all on both ends of the floor, whether that's guarding the best player or, you know, on the other end, you know, scoring, rebounding, assists. So, you know, he does the, the junkyard work for us, and I feel like he doesn't get a lot of praise. So, you know, AG definitely all star for show. <laughs> Yeah. Um, a lot. Uh, he's very versatile. Um, he can put the ball on the floor. He can shoot the ball. Um, he can pass. So, you know, when Vlock out there and um, you know, I get into my bag and I just see them shrinking. I just know Vlock on the side of me. That's the easy assist. I know he's gonna knock it down. So, that's something you know it's good to see uh, Vlock in the second unit getting himself going and you know playing well. So, I'm proud of Vlock. <laughs> yeah. yeah.